I'm going to walk you through creating a type of online registration that we call Compute Org by Birth Date. This allows you to post one link and your registrants are funneled into the correct organization. In this case, I'm going to use uh, organizations that I've created for a mom's night out and for childcare. So the mom's night out will be for the adults, the childcare obviously will be for the children. So these are the two pick list orgs. Let's start there. So the new mom's night out, I've created the organization. I've given it a registration type of join organization. All of your pick list will have a registration type of join organization. And the registration title is going to be just the name of the organization. So I don't need anything else on this page right here on this tab. I want questions on this organization because I have questions that are different for the moms than for the childcare. In this case, I'm asking the age of your baby. This is for moms that have babies from birth up through 12 months. So we're gearing it toward those moms that have a baby less than a year old. So those are the only options there. But we're also asking if they have other children in addition to the new baby. Do you work outside the home? Do you have extended family in town? We're trying to find out a little bit about those women who are coming to this event. So the questions are on the mom's org. I'm even putting the messages on here. Now in the previous uh, video for user selects, we put one um, confirmation and it was on the master org and that's typically the way you would do that for things such as a Bible study but if you've got organizations that are different from each other yet you're going to uh, place them in those organizations using one link you may want to put the confirmation on each organization in this case that's what I'm doing I want one for the moms and then one for the moms who are using childcare. not every mother will need child care they may have someone keeping their baby now I'm going to go to the settings, and this is the secret sauce right here. I'm going to go to the attendance tab and click edit. Let's scroll down to the bottom. And you notice there's a start and start birthday and an end birthday. This is the magic that knows where to place the person as far as an organization goes. This is the organization for the mom, so we want an age range that would suit the moms. Well, we have a little secret for you here. I'm going to go to this spreadsheet, and there'll be a link posted to this on the article about Compute Org by Birthday. We can put a start age of 17 and an end age of, say, 45. That might get all the moms. And you notice that the target date, that's the date where you want them to be 17 to 45. And in this case, I put the date the registration ends. So a new mom could have a babe, baby a few days before the registration ends because the event is not until a few weeks later. And now I have the start birthday and the end birthday. So those are the dates that you're going to put on your, um, on your uh, organization. So let me go back, 81669. Now I can type that in. or I can use the calendar and select it. Some of you don't realize that you can click here at the top and see all 12 months, click again, and you see 12 options for the years, and then you can go back and you see 12 years at a time. So that makes it convenient. You don't have to just keep going back and back and back uh, for each month. So this was August the 15th, 1998, and click Save. That's the birth date range for the adults. And I think this org is all set up and ready to go. Let's go back to our organization search page and this time let's look at the child care org. Of course it also has a registration type of join organization. Notice the master org is listed over here that allows you to verify you've got it with the right master org. I have some questions I'm asking parents and when you ask parents let me show help and it'll give you a description it displays two text boxes it asks for the mother and or the father's names it won't require that you fill in both just one or the other we do this because sometimes uh, you might get a, a child that's registered for child care without a mom uh, or dad in the database and it's very helpful for us to match 
um, maybe duplicates. So we ask for that when we have child care. And once our child has registered and they've entered this information, if we ask for it again, it will already be on their record. And then we ask for allergies, and that's a multi-line text box so they can enter any medical information. It actually will say that you don't have to enter anything here if there are no medical issues. And then we put the messages here on this tab because we wanted a different confirmation for the um, children than we, than we did for the moms. Now let's go to the settings, and we want to set that secret sauce, as it were. All right, so let's scroll down to the bottom for the start birth date and end birth date. Well, here again, I need a little help. So I'm going to go to my spreadsheet, and my start age is going to be zero because they could be born right before uh, the end of registration, and the end date will be 12. We'll allow them to come up through age 12 for this event. And the target date is not going to change, but notice the start and end birth dates have changed. So it's 2002 and 2015. So now I'll go back. 8, 16, 2002. And the end birth date is 8, 15, 2015. And click Save. So now my two pick list orgs are set up. Let's go back and take a look at the master org. Here's the registration org. This is the master org. It has a title master org. And the reason it's, it has that title is because it has a registration type of either computer org by birthday or user selects. That's what makes it a master org. It has a registration end date, no questions. The messages I've removed because the messages are on the other organizations. So let's give it a try. I happen to be logged in as someone who is young enough to attend and has children. And so I'm just gonna try the registration logged in as myself for the sake of time. I wanna show you how this appears. Notice that I did put some instructions on here. You'll want to look through that page with instructions and see where you want to put any instructions. This one is saying register yourself and any children for whom you need childcare. So I'm logged in as Sarah. Sarah's gonna come. Her baby is zero to three months. That's the new baby. And yes, she has other children. And yes, she works outside the home. And no, she does not have extended family in town. Click Submit. Notice that her selection, let me toggle and show you this, her selection was New Mom's Night Out. Now, she didn't select anything. The system selected her. Now we want to, or selected that org for her because she is an adult. Register someone else, and we'll click Maggie. And that's the baby. And now it's asking for the mother's first name and last name, which they haven't asked before. Otherwise, it would already be there. And she doesn't have any allergies that we know of. So I'm going to click Submit. And she does want to bring her other child. So we're going to click to register Katie. And notice that Katie has already been registered for something. So the mom and dad's names are there. And she does have an allergy to milk. But look at the selection, Child Care for New Moms Out. That's what it selected for Katie. And that's what it selected for Maggie. So that is how the online registration works for the uh, Compute Org by birth date. But there's another type that I want to show you, and that is one in which you're using an age and a gender. For this next demonstration, I want to show you a, uh, a one way to use the Compute Org by birth date by having a sports team. This is where you have boys and girls. So I've created what's going to become a master org. It isn't yet because I haven't got the two things that will make it a, a master org. And that is I don't have a pick list and I don't have a registration type that will make it uh, a master org. In this case, it's compute org by birth date. And then I need a pick list. I'm gonna click save. And then I'm gonna choose the organizations. Now I've set up four organizations. So I'm gonna do boys, basketball and search. And there are the two that I've set up. Notice that one is age six to seven and one is age eight to 10. So I've got two for the boys and now I'm going to search for girls basketball. Okay. 
and I want these two, the six to seven and eight to 10, but I do not want uh, the basketball camp. Now I'll update the selected, and I have four organizations in my pick list, and I have the registration type of compute org by birth date. So when I refresh this page, it will show as a master org. But let's look at the specific organizations. Let's look at boys, six to seven, and you notice the master org. Let's go to where we create that uh, secret sauce. There are two ways here because we're dependent on not only the age range, but also the gender. The gender is under settings, general, and you have the option there to either make it male, female, or unknown. If you're going to use compute org by birth date and you're going to have two orgs with the same birth date range and you want to filter them by boys and girls, don't forget to set the gender. And then the other part, of course, is that start and end birth date range, which I've already added. And I showed you earlier how to set that and how to, um, how to figure that out using the little spreadsheet that we've got. Uh, now on these, for each one of these organizations, I have questions and they're the same on all of them. We're asking, uh, do you wanna, is there a particular coach or a player that you want to be with? We ask the size of their jerseys. And then we ask a bunch of other questions that apply to sports teams and to camps and things like that. So you notice we've got a lot of questions here. And then we ask about uh, their attendance at church. This is to help us evaluate if they're really a prospect or, or not for our church. All right, let's go back. We've got all four of these. So we've got children's basketball registration. We have four organizations in our pick list, two for girls and two for boys. So let's see what it looks like. All right, let's try the registration. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna be logged on already. And so it's showing that we can't find an appropriate age group because I'm logged on as Sarah Willis, who is obviously too old to play children's basketball. But let's see about Katie. Katie is the appropriate age, and notice that the selection is girls basketball, eight to 10. And we've got all these options here that you can fill in. And I won't take the time to do that, but we're even asking about giving them medication and so forth, and how often do you attend church? So notice that it put her in the appropriate gender org and age range. So the important information on the pick list org is the age range as well as the gender. So that's how you can do a compute org by birth date for an organization that just has childcare and an adult org, or for something such as basketball or soccer that has multiple organizations for different genders. So I hope you'll try it out and be sure to test it before you make it go live.